Hi, I'm Steve Jackson. It's the 9th of May 2017 and we're at the County Ground Derby, Derbyshire County Cricket Club. Uh, I'm John Williams, and I'm born in 1955. Thanks John. Um, well, we want to talk about your interest in cricket and I understand you've followed sport and cricket for all your life, so perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how you first became interested in, in cricket. Well, I, I can't really remember a time when I wasn't interested in cricket. My, my father was a very keen sports person and uh, loved his football and his cricket and he brought myself and my brother up with a, a similar love of, of all sport, but particularly cricket in the summer and uh, football in the winter was how I remember my childhood. And did you used to play mock games with you? Yeah, we used to play regularly. I used to play with my brother a lot, but uh, I also used to play with my dad as well. And I remember the three of us spending many hours in the garden um, I was the youngest, so I was always given an opportunity to have two chances at batting as opposed to my brother, who only had yeah. one, and he maintains to this day, that's why he ended up being a bowler and I ended up being the batsman of the family. Right, yeah. Okay, so early days in, where is it you born up? Uh, well, I lived in a variety of places, but um, I particularly remember when we used to live in uh, Hull and when we lived in Sheffield as well with my dad. And he was the one, of course, that took me to start watching foot proper matches as, as well. So my, my early memories are really quite in the early 60s of going to see... I can remember we went down to London for a week and went to Lords and saw Middlesex play against the touring South Africans, which was the, sort of before they were banned for many, many years. So I saw Graham Pollock and Colin Bland playing mm. and I can remember that staying with me. Mm. And I can remember we also had a day there when uh, Yorkshire were there as well. I can remember seeing Fred Truman bowl, which is sort of a memory that sort of stayed with me. Yeah, that's um, brilliant. Yeah. So, in names like Pollock and uh, Bland, I think Bland was the famous for his fielding. He was, he, he, and, he, and he did a um, sort of almost like an exhibition before the start yeah. of the day. He used to have this, he had like the stump up, and he was throw, he used to field at cover point, particularly, yeah. and it could sort of hit the stump regularly. Yeah. Uh, from that sort of distance, which particularly in those days was quite exceptional. I think it's less yeah. so these days because yeah. the standard of fielding has improved so much in cricket, but in those days yeah. he was a real star at yeah. that. He probably known as well for his fielding as he was for his, yeah. for his yeah. play. Yeah. Fantastic to be able to remember Fred Truman, who of course did have a season, I think, or two in the Sunday League playing for Derbyshire in the early 70s at the end of his career. So, what do you remember about Fred when he was uh, bowling? I, 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 I don't. Uh, it was his style, it was his action really that stays with me. How, how he, how he bowled really. I don't really remember an awful lot of him playing too much for for Derbyshire in all truth. Mm. But uh, as you said, that was the latter stages of his of his mm. days, wasn't it? Yes, he always used to talk about the need to have a big backside to be a fast yes. bowler. Or something. Yes. Words to that effect. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. I can remember him getting his three hundredth wicket in Test cricket. I can remember that being a big. Again, a big event in those days, like yeah. so these days, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. So, did you carry on to, to play any cricket? Yeah, you? I used to play cricket, play for my you know, school and then for local teams following, following school as well. I think one of my, my attempts at claims at fame is I actually played against Devon Malcolm when I was a youngster. Yeah. And te technically, I, was, I opened the batting against him. Um, but um, he played for a team in Sheffield at that time called Caribbean. This was in the early 1980s, where he was obviously, you know, by the nature of the name of the team, it was obviously named primarily of, of Afro-Caribbean young people and basically beat all teams before them. And it, and it was because they'd got this fast bowler that nobody knew, you know, we didn't know his name or anything at that time. And if the Caribbean team got more than 50 runs, they knew that they'd win the match because they used to bowl everybody out for that sort of run. So when we played him, um, um, Devon actually opened the batting for his team, wow. which is perhaps a comment in the standard of cricket we <laughs> playing, because Devon was never exactly known for his skilled batsmanship. And he got a 50 against us as well. So I got all padded up, all ready to go out to start for, uh, for our innings. But I'd forgotten how many runs we had to get, but it was quite substantial. And I got padding all over my body knowing that there was this young fast bowler that I was going to be up to get uh, playing against and um, it started to rain and it rained for the rest of the afternoon so I never actually got to bat against him. <laughs> oh, <great show. laughs> yeah, I so I, I, I claim I did play against Devon Mark, but I'm not <laughs> really sure whether that counts or not. Oh I think so, yeah. you were on the, on the same uh, 
game. That's the most important. <laughs> so, you, you, you continue to play cricket and watch cricket. I mean, were there any particular moments that were outstanding for you? Well, I think I think my favourite cricketing uh, time was uh, was when the uh, England Australian series of two thousand and five, which is probably one of the all time great yeah. Test series. Um, and I've been I used to go regularly to watch Test match cricket with some friends over many many years, and obviously for many years Australia used to come over regularly and thrash us <laughs> mercilessly. Yeah and had some long days watching England doing disastrously against them. So the 2005 series was just a fantastic, evenly matched series. But I was fortunate enough to be at Trent Bridge the day that we actually won the second test, wow. which goes down as my favourite all-day mm. match-watching occasion, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because it, it, it was a... Uh, well, it was so close and it was exciting, really, because we, we didn't have to get that many runs in the second innings, but they made us work so mm -hmm. hard for it. Mm -hmm. and uh, um, It was a fantastic day's afternoon, yeah, yeah. cricket, yeah. yeah. It's great. And do um, you continue to watch cricket since then? I still, yeah, still watch, yes, regularly watch cricket, yes. And, uh, and uh, now I live in Sheffield, I've come, uh, come back to living in Sheffield, I've come and watch, I do watch Derbyshire and uh, go to Chesterfield to, to watch cricket. There and also down in Derby. Yeah, that's great. Smashing job, thanks very much for that. Thank you. <coughs>